Welcome back to Grit Gym. If you're interested in what we're going to talk about in this video, keto for fat loss and how you can use it, not use it, or how it might be beneficial to you, might not work for you, why and when to use it and how, sign up for a strategy session below. This is totally individually, individually based, 100% individually based. We have to have you right in front of us uh, to know if it's going to work for you or not. And even then it might not work for you, which is what we're going to get into here in a second. But to get signed up for a strategy session, go to gritgym.com slash SS, and we will sign you up there. But uh, what, is the keto, what is the keto diet? Well, the keto diet is uh, it's where it's not paleo. A lot of people think it's paleo. A lot of people think that it's, uh, that it's low carb. It is low carb. It is kind of paleo. It's a little bit more than that. Uh, when we're really getting into keto, it's more about a high amount of fat and a high amount of protein. And one of, the, uh, one of the big mistakes that we see people do when we do nutrition consults is that people will go really low on carb and they'll go really low on fat and they'll keep their protein the same. Now this is the, this is the problem. Can you guys comment down below if you can hear me? If you can hear me, please comment down below. Uh, and uh, um, if you're on here later, do hashtag team replay. But, uh, but keto is you, you up your fat content, you up your protein content, and then you drown the carbohydrates. I mean, you eat no carbohydrates, none. You don't eat cauliflower, you don't eat broccoli, you don't eat carrots, you don't eat, uh, you especially don't eat carrots or potatoes, um, you don't eat spinach, you only eat meat and fat. And you have to have a substantial amount of fat, otherwise we're not getting the, the, the energy that we, that we need to sustain our lives, okay? So why did that, yeah, well, I'm going to stay away from the history of keto, but can you, if, if you're on here, can you please let me know if you get, if you get, I did a mic check before this, but it might, might not be so good today. But anyway, for fat loss, how do we use this? What can we use this? Because I'll try to make this as brief as possible. So if we want fat loss to go, we want fat to go down, then we need to be in a caloric deficit, okay? We have to be in a caloric deficit. The thing about keto, the thing that keto really does Tyler, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Okay, so you guys can hear me. That's fantastic. All right, so the thing with, uh, with, with the caloric deficit, a caloric deficit will le yield weight loss. I should be more specific there. I said fat loss. That is not totally true that if you go into a caloric deficit that you're just going to have fat loss. The only fat loss is going to come off of your body because you'll probably have a deficit. You, you might lose a little bone tissue, and you might, you're probably going to lose uh, a, a decent amount of muscle tissue too. If you do lift, and you do resistance training on top of being in a caloric uh, deficit, then you're more bound to keep the muscle that you do have. You want to keep the muscle that you do have. That's a very, very good thing. You want to keep that muscle. All right, so th the reason that the, the keto diet worked, though, was it took away an entire macronutrient group. It's no different than the vegan diet. The vegan diet took away an entire, ma entire macronutrient group. It's no different than the paleo diet. It took away an entire macronutrient group. Okay, it had, let, let's say, let's just be like so simplistic and say that you were getting 33% of your uh, nutrients, or 33.333% of your nutrients from fat and from protein and from carbohydrates, and we remove 33.333% of all of those nutrients, we're left with 66.66666%, you're going to lose weight off of that. So that's the really great thing. That's what keto does. It's no different. Conceptually, it's the same thing. Conceptually, it's the same reason. You, you, it's a strategy to go into a caloric deficit. Now, this is the thing. If we go into a caloric deficit on keto, our muscle tissue actually, we end up losing more muscle tissue than if we had carbs present. The interesting things that are coming out of the, the research on a keto diet is, is really, really cool. The other thing, if we're looking at our muscle, we want that to go up, right? Because our muscle is metabolic. It's going to burn extra calories. If we grow our muscle by five pounds, we're going to be able to be more efficient with the food that we do eat because it's going to be used by those muscles. This is a very good thing. The keto diet, interestingly enough, when people go on the keto diet, they gain less muscle tissue, okay? So in a caloric surplus, Okay, in a caloric surplus on the keto diet, we gain more fat and we gain less muscle. Okay, in a caloric deficit on the keto diet, we gained, uh, we get, or we lost less fat. That's not true. 
I did that wrong. We lost less muscle. We lost, my bad. We gained, we lost more muscle. <laughs> to, uh, messing up myself. And we lost less fat. Okay. We lost more muscle tissue in a caloric sur in a caloric deficit. We lost more muscle tissue and we lost less fat. Okay. So that's the thing with the keto diet. Can it be beneficial? Yes, but you're not going to be able to put on, if you're trying to gain a bunch of muscle tissue, the keto diet is not your thing. And if you're trying to keep a lot of muscle tissue while trying to cut down on fat, keto is not your thing. Okay. And if you are an ectomorph, it's probably not going to be your thing, depending on the person. Okay. It, it, some people might be able to pull that off, but very few. Like I, I tried to say in the beginning here, uh, I was going to try to keep this short. The three big things that you need to know about the keto diet are one, it's a strategy to go into a caloric deficit and that's it. Okay. Two, when you go on the keto diet, if you are in a surplus, you're going to gain, if you're in a surplus of caloric, uh, a surplus of calories, you're eating more calories, you're, you're going for weight gain, you're going to gain less muscle tissue. Okay. When you're in a deficit where you're trying to lose fat and you're on the keto diet, you're going to lose more muscle tissue. Okay. So if you're trying to keep the, uh, the interesting thing that came out of the keto diet was that obviously protein is in everything to gaining muscle and keeping muscle. Carbs have an effect on this. So um, to keep this one short, keto diet has its place and it's in the medical world, not in the fat loss world. But, uh, but it still can be, it, like for certain people that have a lot of food allergies, a lot of like certain circumstances it can. So um, I kind of built this video up a little bit, didn't I? I didn't really mean to do that, it wasn't intentional. Um, but if you guys got some of this video, put it down below. Uh, and if you're interested in more than nutrition stuff, then please do ask in the comments below. And I always respond to every comment. So thanks for being here, guys. We'll be back tomorrow.